Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the week of April 17th. If you like this reading, Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you have already, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'm trying to get my channel out there and the messages out there, but um, it's slow going, so let me know. Let me know. <laughs> Maybe I'll do monthlies or something. I don't know. But this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius, you're all welcome here, but it might not resonate with all of you. All right, Aquarius, what is going on, Aquarius? What's going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. Lots going on. Emotions are running high and communication is the key. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something revving up here, something getting in your way here. Your emotions are running high, which is really not like an Aquarius. And communication is a key. So maybe somebody feeling like um, you're not communicating or you're not resonating with each other somehow. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Oh, there is some kind of debate, some kind of push me, pull me energy coming through that needs communication. It needs to be talked about and clarified and cleared up here to clear away some of those emotions that are running so high. What kind of Zen tarot is up in the ether for Aquarius spirit? Tell me what kind of Zen tarot is up in the ether. I saw this transformation and harmony. Wow, look at that. Massive transformation coming for you. Gets you out of that emotional roller coaster you've been on. It's just a, a big personal, massive personal transformation coming through for you. Beautiful. Aquarius brings you in some harmony and opens up your third eye. You're really, really intuitive and uh, spiritual and feeling the happier energies around you, picking up on the happier energies around you. Schizophrenia. <laughs> Look at this. There's some kind of debate going on, something you're back and forth with or you're arguing about or you're not coming to, you're not meeting of the minds here with someone. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. What is this all about? Tell me what kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether for Aquarius. What is up? Oh, the wolf. Wow. The fire ant. Interesting. Interesting. And the moth. Look at this. The bird of St. Anthony comes through to transform you, to transmute you because you're all fired up about something. You're really, really trying to prove your point here or trying to prove your cause here. Be the... Um, Be the, what? What are you trying to be here with that wolf energy just staring me down here? Like you're just trying to prove your point or something here. You're really, really attracted to something. Something has you convinced that that is the light, that that is the way to go, that that is the path. And somebody's challenging you in that idea here, Aquarius. How interesting. At the bottom of the deck, the starfish, you're very resilient. You're very... Um, fluid here so it's going to work out you're going to calm down this back and forth this schizophrenia here you're going to calm down that fieriness that you have going on here and move into a much more harmonious energy a much more um uh calm energy here so i love that okay so what what are you thinking about right now spirit tell me what aquarius is thinking about right now right now what is aquarius thinking about Boy, you are cloudy, but look at this transformation. Wow, with the wheel coming out and judgment. Three major arcanas right off the bat, Aquarius. Wow, very, very intuitive. You're coming into some much more spiritual energy. Some downloads are happening to you, Aquarius, to bring you out of a cycle, to bring you out of a phase, and to lift you up from that darkness, from that drowning feeling, from that suffocating feeling. And look at judgment here, a calling out, a reawakening of some emotions that you haven't felt in a long time. So that may feel kind of jarring or may feel very emotional for you because you haven't allowed yourself to really visit some things here. But you're doing that to call it out, to reawaken it, to reprocess it, to re-negotiate um, some of the things that have gone on here. So there's just nothing wrong with that. There's an awakening happening here, a major, major awakening happening here. Wow, what else in the mind space for Aquarius? What else? What else, spirit? Tell me. Oh, I see the fool. Look at these cards are just jumping everywhere. And But you've got the fool. I saw it. Yes, there it is. There it is, Aquarius. That new leap of faith, that trusting in the fall, that trusting in the unknown, that just diving in. Now i got to fix these cards. Hold on. I saw the tower there too. We're not 
we're not uh, excluding anything. I just want to see if they'll come back out. So I'm going to shuffle real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't want it to get confused. Okay, but look at this major arcana of Aquarius. My God, you are taking a leap of faith. You are jumping into this transformation. Feet first. You're just not even planning it. You're not even... Um, trying to prepare for it. You're just so ready to be out of this cycle into this new year. I'm well on your way into this next cycle here. So don't be worrying that you have to heal something or you have to process something. And that's why this past is coming up. And that's why these challenges are coming up. It has nothing to do with that. It has you standing on your own, on the edge of your own uh, perspective here, your own experience here, and trusting the universe again, trusting that there's a formula here, trusting that it's uh, there's something there. There's something to this energy talk. There's something to this. And I'm taking that leap of faith there. Wow. 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 What are you feeling? What's in your heart space? Spirit, tell me about Aquarius's heart space right now. What are they feeling? Oh my God. This is so exciting. You're just really taking that leap of faith. Aquarius, I love this. Ooh, after a very long time with the hanged man, it did come out in reverse. Maybe I should leave it in reverse because I did just shuffle, but the hanged man, you've gained the enlightenment. Here comes that awakening. Here comes that opening for you. Here comes the understanding for you out of the schizophrenia, feeling like you're losing your mind, like you're losing your grip, you're losing your control. This is all major arcana. There is not one card that has been pulled here that is not major arcana. This is massive, Aquarius. This is massive. <laughs> this is not even just a change of uh, jobs or change. This is a massive life change for you, an elevation up, an elevation into the next phase for you, into the next cycle for you. Wow. Wow. Huge, huge personal transformation here. <laughs> that. I love this. More major arcana, of course. The Hierophant comes out. The marriage card comes out. The commitment card comes out. You are committed to someone. You are chained to someone in some way with energy. There's a connection there that is really, really changing. You're renegotiating this contract. You are awakening something within you that has been asleep for a very, very long time. It's like the monster of Aquarius is awake. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Aquarius. Wow, this is so beautiful. A really coming out of you, a marriage to you, a contract to you, a promise to you that you are going to be in control, that you are going to uh, go for things. You're going to experience things. You're going to trust again. It's a contract between you and your higher self. Your higher self is really, really holding you now and honoring you. It's just like, imagine this queen of wands is your higher self. And this is your light down here on earth. And the queen of wands is like, I got you. I got you and commit to yourself, commit to yourself, Aquarius. And you do, you do because of this massive transformation. <laughs> wow. Aquarius. Oh my God. And the ace of cups. Oh my God, this is everything. This is what you've been waiting for. This feeling is what you've been waiting for. This feeling of freedom, this feeling of free will where the choices you make are just guided to you. The answers are just there. It's like you don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to stand up for any cause or any argument or or anything because you're just living that experience. You're living your cause. You're living your activism, your, your own life's activism here. It is glorious, a glorious coming out of your energy, a freeing of your energy, all guided by your higher self, all telling you, Aquarius, it's time. It's time. Oh God, I love this. What's the current situation for Aquarius? Tell me about the foundation and the current situation. Queen of Swords and Ten of Wands. My God, look at these queens. You've got the Queen of Wands in your heart space, that fire, that, that, uh, meaningful intuition now that guidance toward the good stuff that guidance toward the uh the wonders the wonders of the world again and the letting go of the 
the things that did not serve you, the dropping them on the way, the just letting it go. There was nothing you could do about it. There was nothing you can say about it now. It's truly, truly, truly a time of letting go for you. And it's beautiful. You're reinventing yourself. These limbs have been broken off of you. And just like these starfish, you are growing them back. Only they are completely different because of this transformation. Beautiful, beautiful. You're seeing a very bright future now. Very clear, very... A calm energy coming from you now instead of that chaotic what am I going to do what am I going to do I'm very emotional the Pisces moon comes out to say that you were very very emotional when we came into this reading after this major massive transformation that you go through from the wheel to judgment to the fool to the hanged man in reverse to the hierophant it was a major major transformation it it you leapt out of that water you leapt out of those dark waters into the light into the glory into the sun with all of your tools with all of your um, your uh, weapons here to defend yourself, you don't need your you don't need to uh, to have the uh, sword anymore. Her sword is down. Her sword is um, grounded now. Now she's using her words. Now she's using her mind. She's not using her emotions. So she's out of this emotional uh, whirlpool that was just sucking her under. She climbed out on her own buoy here on the buoy of Aquarius. And it's strong now and stable. There's nothing that can break it out now. The lovers, look at this, another major arcana. <laughs> but you have a major, major decision to make now. You have to really, really decide. And the, 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 the decision is, do I trust? Do I go all in again? Do I risk having my heart shredded to pieces again? Do I risk it? Do I risk falling in love? Do I risk falling in love with my own life here? Do I risk that? And the answer is absolutely yes. You cannot say no when there's this many changes going on in your life, or at least your energy, at least your energy. That's what I said. You're at the, you could be at the very same job, the very same marriage, the very same uh, people surrounding you, but it doesn't matter because you are changed. And that's, that's the old saying of wherever we go, there we are. So it wouldn't have mattered if you changed jobs or changed marriages, got divorced, got remarried, it would not have mattered. You would have still come to this huge personal transformation, maybe not without all the strife that you went through, but you still would have experienced this massive transformation and you'd be a whole new person today. <laughs> you'd be in the very, very same place. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful because now you know what that, how precious that trust is, how precious that is when you can really, really give yourself to somebody fully. <laughs> wow. Wow. Without all the hesitation and worry. Oh yeah. Look at this with the 10 of swords and the three of pentacles. It's just teamwork now. It's walking away from that which did not serve you. You've got two tens here, the walking away of it, the new beginning of it. The nines are the ending of it. And sometimes endings can be very, very difficult when we're in a nine year. It's very difficult because a lot of things are ending. When you're walking into that one year, you're walking into an independence that you don't know. You didn't know you had. You didn't know you could do this on your own. You didn't know that that was possible without so-and-so or without that job or without that identity. You didn't know it was possible, but now you do because that was stripped from you somewhere recently. You got stripped. You got stripped down to the uh, nakedness and vulnerability point in your life. And then spirit came in with this massive transformation when you were stripped down to nothing. It was like boot camp. It was like life boot camp for you. You had to be stripped of it all. All of your beliefs, all of your ideas, all of your thoughts about that had to be stripped away so that you could come into this full understanding that it's all about trust. It's all about love. It's all about connection. It's all about uh, uh, it's not about the arguments. It's not about the politics of it. It's all about the connection of it all. Oh, I love this awakening of yours. Six of wands. Look at how you're honored now. You're so honored by spirit. It's just like they're really, really cheering this transformation here for you, Aquarius. So, so beautiful. What is surrounding you? What is the energy around you? What are people thinking about Aquarius right now? What do people think about Aquarius? The moon. Oh my God. The moon on the moon. Wow. 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 So you're bigger than life to some people. You're very exaggerated to some people, probably because of the major things you've gone through. You've gone through some situations that most people don't have to endure or certainly don't want to endure, but uh, they see you as bigger, bigger than life now, bigger than what you, bigger than what you, um, 
claim to be your um, your holdbacks or your um, resistance, resistance here. So they see you as bigger than life. Wow. That's quite beautiful. Real honoring of you. Oh, look at this judgment again. You're getting such repeating cards. I can't believe two major arcana pull up right off the bat. I mean, this is major. This is big, Aquarius. You're singing a new tune. You're singing a new song. You're marching to a new beat. You are uh, completely different. <laughs> completely different. I love this so much. I love this so much because you're really, really letting go of anything that held you back before. Six of Pentacles. There's that reciprocity, that return of energy, that give and take. And the lovers, again, again, this is about your soulmate connections. This is about those marriages, those contracts, those fulfillment of contracts, the, uh, the leveling up because you have fulfilled them. You have honored them. You have such honor here. There's a great, great honoring of you, Aquarius here, a great honoring of you. And uh, yeah, a, a soul connection, soul connections, real meaningful soul connections. We have so many soulmates out there to elevate us and help us grow and expand this energy that we have here. So yours are here. Yours are here. Your soulmates are surrounding you and really holding you up and honoring you. There's such an honoring here of you. It's beautiful. Oh, Aquarius, I honor you. <laughs> this king of pentacles in the heart space and knight of wands wow look at this solid solid energy some kind of message coming to you some kind of fiery message i think these are still stragglers of people trying to prove their point around you or or give you their opinions of things or um, share with you their their hot ideas or their heated ideas and you're really really not um interested <laughs> you're not because you're looking at your own experience now and what you're doing so nothing can really distract you from that ever again like you can't get caught up in anyone else's drama it just it just doesn't work. It's drama is incompatible with you at this point. It, it's it's so menial. It's so um, minor compared to these majors that you've gone through that it's almost laughable. It's almost like you have someone at home that you you're like, can you believe that they're even worried about that? And 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 your partner's just on board with you. It's just like, yeah. I mean, those you know, sound like rich people problems or something like this or something laughing about you laughing with, with your partner here or your friend or the, that real soulmate energy, it doesn't matter. And um, laughing at the drama that others are trying to exaggerate, trying to make bigger than they are. And you're like, oh my God, if you just, if you only knew, if you only knew that that's just an exaggeration and means nothing, means nothing in the big scheme of things. So you're just kind of laughing at the drama. Wow, I love that. I love that. What's in the foundation? Eight of Pentacles, another work card too. So yeah, you're just so hard at work and um, really just, I think you're just going through this, going through the motions. I think you were going through the motions for a little while here and just doing the things you were supposed to do. It's like the movie Click with the Who's that? Sandler, where you put your life on pause. It's like things got out of control and you paused it and you were just on auto mode. Like you're just moving, you're just going through the motions, going to work, going to school, going to wherever, wherever you were just on auto mode. It just was what you were supposed to do. And now you're really, really transformed. You're just this brand new person where you're only doing what you want to do and you're very, very selective on what you want to do. You're very picky about it. That's why you're not allowing any drama in your life. It, it's just so beautiful if everyone could just go through this kind of transformation what a happy world we would be because it's just like i'll mind my business you mind yours i've got important people to look after and so do you you know you want to share this message with others but people haven't gone through this kind of transformation aquarius so go easy <laughs> knight of pentacles here's some more offers coming towards you at the workplace so more clients more uh, money, more stability, more uh, coming to you. So Aquarius, that's beautiful. You're attracting a clientele here. You're attracting um, definitely a clientele, somebody willing to pay you for your services and pay you well and will travel to even do that 
to to have you work on them or have you heal them or whatever it is you're you're definitely a healer so people are willing to pay for that so whatever that means to you it's time to extend that service out there get that service out there because some kind of travel where people will travel um, from far away places to have you heal them to have you help them so wow beautiful very beautiful what else in the foundation tell me anything more yeah page of wands people traveling to see you people packing up to come see you to hear you to be healed by you there's some kind of calling there's some kind of um i will come to you i'll come to you a lot of clients coming to you a lot of business coming to you so that's really quite beautiful and um and you're off, you know, enjoying other things now. You, you're you, after this transformation. It just doesn't seem to matter as much that kind of stuff. That's just a given, right? That's just more clients are given. <laughs> I'm not experiencing the world. I'm not taking leaps of faith into the unknown waters of life here, and I'm having a ball. So yeah. <laughs> Ace of Cups, absolutely. Ace of Cups and Ace of Cups. These cards are very much repeating themselves, all about taking care of you and um, this massive personal transformation through this massive personal transformation. Someone went through it with you. There's a partner in crime here, somebody, a best friend, a sibling, a partner, a lover, uh, some connection, a soulmate connection that is here with you that is um, celebrating this new beginning with you and really happy to do so, really happy to walk <laughs> this different path to to be a different person now, to be able to start over. There's a clean slate happening here. And um, to be able to laugh at the exaggerations and the drama is really, really fun too, really light, lightens you up. So, all right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, like I said, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Look at this with the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. See more offers of emotion coming to you. A lot of, a lot of people attracted to you, a lot of people coming to you and, and, um, wanting to pay you for your services, whatever that means. So, boy, you're going to be really, really busy in the coming weeks here with um, clientele. It's going to really start picking up. You're going to love it, though. You're going to love it. You're going to be in your glory here, taking care of a lot of new things. So, all right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week, Aquarius, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.